When the National Hurricane Center posts an update on a tropical system, the number everyone looks for is the storm's maximum sustained winds. But that number doesn't always match what we see when a storm makes landfall. Craig Moeller explains the fluctuation in today's hurricane fast fact. To get the maximum sustained winds, the National Hurricane Center measures wind 10 meters or 33 feet off the ground, and it's averaged over one minute. Different sensors and techniques are used depending on where the measurement is being taken. For instance, tropical storms and hurricanes that are far out at sea are primarily monitored by satellites. Sensors on the satellites and analysis of images can produce some pretty accurate estimates of the wind speed and central pressure of storms. As it moves closer and becomes a threat to land, vital and more precise data is gathered by hurricane hunters. The planes release instruments called drop sons to measure the wind speeds as they fall to the ocean. The hurricane hunters are also equipped with stepped frequency microwave radiometers. They measure surface winds by looking for radiation off the ocean surface. When the storm gets close to land, ground-based Nexrad Doppler radars give us close-up and complete view of the wind field. Here's something to consider. The maximum sustained winds are the strongest winds found anywhere in the storm. And the winds are usually a little stronger out over the water where they're free from things like trees and buildings which can slow it down. Just because reporting stations or buoys aren't showing the highest winds doesn't mean they aren't happening. With your Hurricane Fast Fact, I'm Craig Moeller.